Asian carp lived up to their reputation. They were jumping all over the place, including into the boat and almost taking out Nate. Dirk and Austin score a few kill shots and me, well, it's not about me, it's about the fish. And Dirk has a few recipes he's ready to try on me and some unsuspecting customers. All right, so we're putting this fish into the grinder. So a fine grind that we're gonna do here. This holds most of the bones back. Any small bones that might get through are basically just calcium for us. So we need a little bit of dill here, red onion, capers, pepper, a bit of kosher salt, and a little bit of mustard sauce. This is our own secret recipe mustard sauce. We put a little panko in this, guys. Just helps hold it together a little bit. So that's how easy making a burger is. It's actually harder to catch the fish than it is to make the burger. All right, these are our wet cedar planks. You want to make sure they're damp and been soaked for a couple hours. These are the burgers we just ground in back. This is a teriyaki burger. I brushed a little teriyaki sauce on top just so we'd know which one was which. This is a salsa cilantro uh, burger, kind of southwestern style, we call it. We're going to put the cedar plank on the grill, and it's going to give it the flavor. The smoke has got the resin from the cedar in it, and that's what gives it a nice smoky flavor. It's one of my favorite ways to do all kinds of fish, Asian carp in particular. So I'm going to close the lid now, and we're going to time this, give it about 15 minutes. All right, so we're going to dress up these burgers. So this is a Cuban ketchup with a little bit of uh, that we make here. It's kind of like a tomato jalapeno chutney. I'm going to dress this one up for Scott with um, kind of just a basic burger, right? Lettuce, onion, tomato and all. And we're going to do the Southwestern style burger on this one. Then I just want him to try this burger. Is our teriyaki burger here. This one, I just want him to try straight up. That way he takes the carp in full. But I want him to have this one as an American burger, so. Since we now have American Asian carp. All right, so now we just uh, showed you the burgers. Another very popular thing with these carp that we love at home a lot. Terry's Cuban for Cuban heritage croquettes are a popular thing. It's actually made with leftover ham, chicken, etc. We found it works excellent with carp. So our recipe is online, dirksfish.com. This is almost the finished product. What we're going to do next is do a little egg wash on these guys and roll them in these same panko crumbs. This is just um, canola oil that I like to cook these guys in. Dirk, I smell something. But you know, when I say I smell something, I don't mean I smell carp. You do not. No, it is, it's... It is past the stage of being carp now. Now it's a <laughs> culinary delectable thing, you know? Love so, it. Love it. All right. So we're going to put a little spicy mayo on there just to... You know what, though? I'm going to put that on there first. But why don't you try this one with right. nothing? And that way you'll have an idea what this tastes like. It is really creamy on the inside. It doesn't taste like any carp you've ever had before. It's not overcooked, it's, it's cooked just perfectly. And again, for you people that like to overcook your fish, stop it. I had the croquette, which was absolutely delicious. Tell me about what we did this with this This is a, kind of an Asian stir fry here. So this uh, pan saute, the uh, carp steaks there. It's now they're whole steaks, so you might find a few bones in that. You're gonna kind of have to, no, right? right? <laughs> uh -uh. The flavor of the fish just by itself is mild, white, and flaky. I mean, right. look at this. Right, I mean, that's like the epitome of a good piece of fish, right? If you're a carp eater, that's not what you're used to seeing right there. Oh, look, there's a bone. All right, now I'm anxious to try this burger. So again, looking at that, looks like a regular burger there. You know, put cheese on it, it'd be perfect, but I like the smoke. I need to figure out how to get on the bandwagon and get people eating more of this right? fish. Right, are you kidding? I mean, that's, you put that on a burger like that, it's just, it's outstanding. And this is a teriyaki style burger here, so it's gonna be a little more Asian style there, and I just wanted to try this one kind of plain, so that way you can, uh, you know, see what the fish tastes like. It's got a softer texture to it, you know, right. so it's kind of a creamy center. If you like them a little more well done, you can flatten them out and crisp them up a little more. So now we have another kind of Asian style meatball here, so I made these carp meatballs. Again, just kind of a basic uh, blend to it there, and it's with a coconut curry simmering sauce. I served mm. Over rice, and you know, right? Of the lesser thought of species that I've had on the Dead Meat Show over the years, this is some of the best eating fish I've ever had, and that is not blowing smoke. This is really good. The flavors are great. It doesn't, you haven't disguised the flavor of the fish. Right. It still tastes like fish, and pretty much across the board, everyone that's tried it that had, hadn't tried it before describes it as creamy. It's creamy, but savory. Right, right. Yeah. It's definitely got a distinct taste, but not overpowering. It's very creamy. Uh-huh. It kind of, it reminds me a lot of like tilapia and catfish in terms of like taste and flavor. I'm sold on Asian carp. So get a hold of Peoria Carp Hunters. Go out there and have a great day of carp flying out of the water. And it was you, an awesome and, day. As you're dodging yeah. carp and <laughs> Of course, you have to go to Dirk's Fish and Gourmet in Chicago, and you've got a website. 2070 North, Link, uh, North Clybourne in Lincoln Park, and uh, website's DirksFish.com. Recipes on there. You can get a recipe for this on their 
感想